Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at TT Isle of Men right on the edge 3 on Xbox Series S. And um, yeah, let's just dive in. First of all, let's see how much data this game is, and it's 12.1 GB. The game is not on Game Pass, so um, it's like 60 bucks. That's, yeah. A little bit steep, I think, for a game like this. Um, more on that later, by the way. The game is optimized for a new generation of consoles, Xbox Gen 9, Gen Scarlet-ish. And um, yeah, let's go start it up. You guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me, you're really helping out the channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a, yeah, Daily basis, new games, old games, updates and games, even a little bit of hardware here and there. So, TT Isle of Men. Uh, it's a legendary motor race across the world. And uh, it's being held, of course, on the Isle of Men. That's, uh, that's an island in the coast of, uh, of England. And um, it's insane. This is the, 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 the most insane race in the world i think it's also the most dangerous race in the world that this race is still uh not forbidden is beyond my belief because there are at least one up to three racers die every year that's how dangerous this race is it's uh, it's it's suicide if you go and raise this for real then you just want to die then you're you're not happy with your life in my opinion because it's complete suicidal it's one of the the it's, it's gorgeous to look at it's like uh it, it, you can see it already it the date they, they completely remade the 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 island into the game so yeah it's it's gorgeous to look at but yeah if you want to do something on the, the Isle of Man, then please do it in the game like this and not, not for real. Because there are people that love you. And it's insane. Um, the game itself. Some happier things. Or not happy. There's only one graphical mode. And that's 1440p at 30fps. And before you say uh, something, oh, Series S, beep, 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 uh, on Series X and PlayStation 5, it's also uh, not, not really good, to be honest. So, uh, all in all, the game is just not that well optimized. I've also played it on my Nintendo Switch. Uh, big shout out, by the way, to Nacon for sending me a key to all the systems so I could test it out. Um, yeah. They could make it run on a, a Nintendo Switch at, at what, like 720p at 30 FPS on low settings. If they can make that work, they should easily make this game work at 60 FPS on the on the Series S with lower graphic settings. Easily. No excuse. There's just no excuse. There's zero. They can make this game run 30 FPS uh, on on a, on a Nintendo Switch. Oh, I've got an achievement. Fall off at least five times. <laughs> okay, I did that. This is an insane mode. But... And you know, this is a race game, and with a race game, I need my 60 FPS. Uh, it's there's no no excuse for not having. 60 fps in my opinion. It, it, it does look good 1440p it, if you're standing still it's amazing how good this game looks but you're not buying a game to be standing still let's be honest look at how fast this goes holy moly And I'm just driving around. I'm not even participating in the races. I did see some frame drops, by the way. 
the last patch did a lot of good things day one patch because i played it a few days before and it had like frame drops in the 20s but uh now that i played the now i'm playing the, the, the day one patched version of the game it's like a pretty much stable 30 fps all the way through Look at how fast this goes! And I'm still on top of this motorbike. Same way. Ah! I'm so. Oh, darn it! Yeah, that game over fatality. Jesus. This is insane. How fast this goes. Really, really, really insane. But yeah, you can go to um, to the map and choose some of the... the, the oh, that's a fast travel point. Okay. This is a, In a face -off track face-off challenge. Okay, now well, let's do it. Beat your opponent. Hold X to start. Let's go. Even these loading times could be way better. Yeah, I'm not completely there with the <clears throat> with this game. It's not that they're using like an, an insane engine or anything. Eleven point eight kilometers. Already going like over two hundred kilometers an hour. <sighs> and I'm gone. But yeah, imagine driving with two hundred kilometers an hour and hitting one of those curb stones, and, and then it's just bye bye. with 200 kilometers going into one of those fences <laughs> let's play a game i think even that guy from saw would be like yeah maybe that's a little bit too much oh I must say that the, the, the driving controls, normally I have a little bit of um, difficulties with uh, especially motor racing games. Not that good at them. I rather drive something with four wheels. Yeah, this is not gonna happen. But yeah, you guys, this is TT Isle of Man 3, right on the edge on Xbox Series S. Uh, does it need an update? 100%. This game needs to be having a 60 FPS mode, without a doubt. There's no excuse. Uh, hopefully they will add it later, or yeah, if they see this mode, the video, uh, take notice that the next game, it should have it in. Because uh, right now it's okay, fun. 1440p 30 fps but that's not what gamers want and especially not when they're playing a racing game thank you for watching you all hope to see you guys next time bye